Well, here we are up in Downey, Missouri, finally after 22 hours of driving. And Stone doesn't want to be shown on TV. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It's about, let's see, ah, 11.26 right now, November. He's a teacher. <laughs> November 7th, getting ready to head out in the woods. Just got the camper set up. Stone's over here playing army guys, so just waiting for Mike and Linda to get here so we can head off into the woods. And we're getting ready. We're gonna lay the smack down on old Swamp Donkey. <laughs> swamp Donkey, Slickhead, whatever walks out today, hopefully something. Maybe raccoon. Maybe raccoon. <laughs> Skunk. Awesome. Oh, we just got down here. Getting ready to head into the woods, so. Loaded up with our gear. I think we're gonna go to the same spot we were. Get some movement later on this evening. I think it's around noon right now. So I just get in there and get set up. Let everything settle down a little bit. So here we go. We have five and a half days here in Bowen. So that's Sunday. Hopefully we we'll kill one on the first day. That'd be awesome. She's looking.
fantasy football scores. <laughs> Trying to pass it down because we haven't seen nothing. And then turn around had a dough back here with three fawns, so that's pretty exciting for them. Been there for a couple hours. Hopefully they'll start getting up and moving now. So they almost got a shot on her, but she saw something up here that two pickle blobs up in the tree didn't like it, so she took off. But finally get to see some deer. Good times, so now I'm gonna check fantasy football again. <laughs> come in like a little six and a decent eight but we know there's bigger deer than him in here so it was tempting <laughs> but you know it's good to see some bucks in here finally cruising around but like I said there's bigger ones in here than him so not this is only our first morning the second on so we still got four days left I'm not going to waste a shot on him. I don't know if I'd shoot him on the last day. I always say, don't pass on the first day. You should shoot on the last, but... Hopefully we get some more deer moving around.
nice looking. east and that big old cedar thicket back here behind us so we just had a young about two and a half year old eight pointer come in We're cruising for doe so I mean it's kind of warm out right now it's probably 65 maybe close to 70 degrees the wind's still blowing but hopefully things will get better this evening um, hopefully that's a sign of things to get better and one and around so
footage. It looks like I might have hit him in the back. I want to get down and check the arrow. No, just to double check. So, I mean, he was out at 39 yards. I, mean, I got him to stop, but, you know, he just stuck the arrow from that far away. It's just one of those things that happens. <laughs> so, but at least we finally got a shot on one. Uh, it was the Indians' fault this time. <laughs> so, so I think I'm just gonna get down there, try and get there as quick as I can, and get back up here and just to check it, just to double check and make sure that we didn't hit them. And uh, trying to shoot another one, so gotta make it quick. Hi guys, this is Kyle Farnsworth with Luck of the Draw. We're pleased to announce our partnership with Trees and Camouflage. And this is Zach with Luck of the Draw. Treason Camouflage is the look you want with the price tag that you can afford. Use our promo code LOTD10 to receive 10% off your purchase. You, you will not, not be disappointed. disappointed. Now, back to the show. enough to put him down so we're just gonna finish hunt tonight hopefully maybe a doe will come in and shoot at her but come back in here tomorrow morning and go look at the footage again when we get back to camp you know just double check again but you know it did hit him so hopefully it's enough to kill him but let's keep our fingers crossed but we're gonna finish hunting up this evening and come back after we hunt here tomorrow well, couldn't stand any longer, decided to get down on the stand and, you know, just try to look for him, you know. You know, I really think we got a good shot on him, so we're trying to get, get in there before the light, so let's go. up right there so I mean pretty good that's a long way so I think it was 30 
38 yards and here's the arrow. Ain't much blood on him, but you know, we saw he hit it, so let's just keep going. This is about the last spot I saw him. And it looks like he was kind of going up here towards the left, so let's just keep our fingers crossed and hopefully run into something. seen nothing yet. I'm just hoping you know, just on the way he ran just try to follow that and either him or who knows so what's the soap he's around here somewhere. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, oh, oh buddy. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, he's, oh. Oh, he's bigger than I thought he was. Let's get him out here so we can see him. Well, I'm out of breath, <laughs> excited from excitement, so you know, not to put the best shot on him. You know, he's kind of ducked the string a little bit, but you know. Those rages, you can't rave enough about them. You know, this do some good damage, and you no, know, he didn't run, you know, 150 yards from the spot. You know, he got shot. So, I mean, awesome hunt. You know, the weather hasn't been the best. You know, highs getting up in the 70s, you no, know, low 70s, and you know, just not not the best cool temperatures. You know, this time of year, but you know, you got to stick it out, stay in the stand. You know, for a long time, all day long, and stuff like that. But now this is what it's all about, you know, hunting hard, you know, come to a good spots, you know, just hoping everything comes together, and today it did, you know, got him about, you know, four o'clock, whew, you know, just still excited, you know, he's a dandy of a buck, you know, no ground shrinkage here, you know, I didn't think he was, you know, I thought he was a good buck in the stand, but, you know, he's real, real heavy, got good mass, you know, it's just awesome.